Okay, so this is part six, I think, of our Blender training series, animation training series. Uh, so let's do, today let's do something more interesting than a bouncing ball. Uh, let's do this here. Let's animate uh, this Fortnite uh, plane. So if you want uh, to download this model, you can find it on my CG Trader or you just become a Patreon and uh, get it there uh, for, for cheaper or free because you're just paying monthly and I'll be uploading uh, different models every month uh, that you can download for free. Uh, but uh, yeah, so let's try and animate this and making s and make something uh, cooler than a bouncing ball. So let's uh, figure out what we are going to do here before we. Mm, let's see. Let's see. So uh, let's go and uh, let me create a new project here. Open a new project here and. Uh, find something else that uh, I think I did a Viking bot. So we can animate uh, the plane flying over the board and uh, see, let's see. So if we go to here, uh, January Viking bot, Jan no, Feb Viking bot. This here. Again, if you want to download it, or if you want to see how I modeled this, you can just find it on my on on my YouTube channel. You will find uh, the tutorial there. Uh, if you want to download the model, you will find it on CG Trader or my Patreon account. So hmm, this is the bot. I don't find it very interesting. So let me find a different bot that we modeled a few months ago. So just. Open file location. I think it was in 2018. I just search for bot. On speed bot. Hmm. I think we can also add a speed bot there to make things even more interesting. But uh, this is the bot I wanted. Why is this opening like okay I think I did it in uh, Blender 2.8 2.7 sorry so um, I can just drag and drop open and now we have our bot yes missing textures So we're missing some textures here. So let's see if we can find those textures. So file, external, uh, find missing textures, find. Okay. So we have found uh, the missing textures. And now let's just uh, get everything. So I'll just let me just get the board. I th let me also parent this to this. So that is one single object. So, okay, this also, these should also be parented to this. Or you can just merge them into one object to make it, to make it simple to move. Okay, so we have our bot. Let me select everything. Control C, Control V. And now uh, we have our bot imported in our scene. I just need to scale this down, rotate it. Let me go to layout. You know what I want? Uh, let me save this into a different project so that I don't mess up these project savers. Uh, <coughs> 2019. Again, I will have this project up on my Patreon page so that you can download it. Animation. Okay, this is supposed to be in Feb. Animation. 
and uh, why don't I just let me just merge uh, these into one object because I don't see a reason why not to why I'm not doing that control J so this is one single object also these okay we are lacking one object this so we can also join that to need to apply the mirror then join that so we also have that can be joined as well uh, apply the mirror and uh, join now we have this as a single object and that it let me change the origin to geometry rotate this 90 degrees so this is going to be our bot and the our plane uh, good thing is one single object it should be a bit bigger than our bot like that okay so we are missing we did move these but uh, we're not going to be seeing those so we can just uh, those are <coughs> these uh, things that are be, uh, should be here and uh, they won't be there you won't be able to see them from the animation another thing i can add in is the speed bot so let's uh, make something cool here bot Bot. speed bot speed 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 then file location and um, drag and drop open so we have our speed bot here it should come with the textures so do, 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 where is textures solid shading perfect let me just get this here control C again everything I'm adding here <laughs> yeah I feel like I'm self promoting a lot but uh, yeah you know you have to keep the lights on the internet and everything so that's why I really appreciate anyone supporting me on patreon <coughs> and uh, yeah and I'm not sure of any other way than uh, saying thank you to thank them but uh, when I I also try to give them as many models that uh, they may find useful as much as I can so when you become a patreon you help me support you support me make these tutorials even more frequently <coughs> and uh, you also get uh, th free 3d models like this so we have this so what I want to do is uh, have this bot maybe this button let me uh, use the an annotation tool problem I don't have my uh, sketchpad sp sketchpad as uh, connected so I would have to use the mouse to draw this so I want uh, this to come in from this direction like this uh, this boat on the plane and uh, <coughs> they will find uh, the boat may be crossing going this side it will be a bit slow but uh, uh, this plane should be maybe competing for something and then this will just uh, yeah let's uh, see how that will look so yeah so this was part one just importing everything uh, let's go to shading mode so that uh, we make sure that uh, everything is this showing system okay this should be the ready view now we just need to make sure that the textures and everything has come in correctly yeah and uh, we need to turn on ambient uh, occlusion is on perfect so let's also add our sun uh, the, the other thing we need to import is water okay where is our sun let me turn on overlays I 
uh, you can see that uh, this looked uh, low poly, and that's because I have simplified turned on, so that is easier to work uh, in the in the viewport. But uh, if I turn this off, it takes a few seconds uh, because my PC is not the best. And so you can see if I turn off overlays, you can see everything is much smooth. We have we have a few problems there. I think that's why I wasn't. Uh, these things were not much because some of them were not. Uh, we're not supposed to have. Don't are not supposed to have uh, this this subdivision surface. So let me first turn off. Let me just go to edit mode and select those objects. So Control L. Uh, also select these Control L, P to separate them. into a single object and uh, select that object and for it it should not have uh, those and maybe it shouldn't have the bevel as well but uh, it should be parented to our boat so when we move our boat uh, that should also move but uh, let me turn off turn on simplified again so that my viewport is more smooth and also in OBS it is also it's also smooth when I'm recording okay so in the next uh, le let me first import uh, the water so for the water let me find what Viking boat so this this is our water if you go to textures you can see that uh, yeah it's good and see you can even see depth at certain angles so let me just copy that and uh, paste that in there and uh, we have that so we just need to move this again there and there is some water in uh, the boat but uh, depending on the angle we are going to uh, to animate this you won't be seeing uh, that water so i think it should be okay I think this looks good inside there, in the water. And yeah. Thank you.